Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. It's actually Monday morning when I'm filming this. Uh, last week on Wednesday, we left for Idaho. My grandma passed away. So I did not do any pre-filming last week. So I will be catching up today, getting all of those videos scheduled out for the week. But I wanted to start off with the 365 page book that I talked about last week and how I was gonna journal in it every single day. So there's still a few things that I wanna to add to it. I'm actually gonna grab a couple of these and I'm probably gonna sneeze. I'm feeling a sneeze, of course. <coughs> oh, excuse me, goodness sakes. I am not the quietest sneezer, that's for sure. Okay, so I just wanted to grab a couple of browns because I know pretty much that is the color that I chose for most of the week. So as we flip through this, this is just a lined notebook. Uh, it's soft bound, it is not a lay flat. It's probably good for what I'm using it for and I'm glad I'm in it because I, I started in, I think May, yeah, May of 2023 decorating it and I only filled out two pages and then I put it away. And I know re I refer to this as a junk journal and after I did more research online, this is no way near a junk journal. This is just a decorative journal. So I apologize if I misled anybody in my last video. This is just gonna be using up one of my notebooks. So I did go back, uh, the first day I used it was Monday, April 22nd. I just laid down some uh, stickers in it and then journaled a little bit. Pretty simple. I'm not gonna add anything to this spread. I like I like it just the way it is. And then on the 23rd, this was Tuesday, I believe, I put in my Wordle, and then I was watching Budget for Beginners on YouTube, so I took some notes. I think this is a pretty good use of this notebook. It's still using up the pages, and it's doing something that you know I'm already doing in life. So that's actually going to be on the channel, I think later this week, budgeting. I got a new budget planner. So I'll show you guys that later on in the week. It should be a lot of fun. And then we flip through here and we start moving into, this was the day that my grandma passed away. So I'm going to put a little bit of washi tape down just to, just to jazz this up a little bit. My grandma was a perpetual... Is that, is that the right word? That may not be the right word. My grandma wore a hat everywhere. She, when she dressed up, she dressed up and she wore hats. And they were these beautiful, like, you'll see on the next page because I actually have a picture of her. Um, they were beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hats. My grandma was originally from back east. So she just had a different, like, flair and style, which I absolutely loved. On that note, uh, back in the day, I had, I grew up with a horse named Jake. Uh, I named him after Jake. I guess he was a wrestler. I don't know. I was so young, you guys. I don't really remember what I named him after. I just know his name was Jake. He was gray and he absolutely adored me. I absolutely adored him. We went everywhere together when I was a kid and when I was, gosh, it was after I moved out. So I was definitely well into my adulthood. My grandparents decided that they were going to sell him because I wasn't home anymore and my grandpa was kind of cutting back on hunting. So they sold him and my grandma really wanted a grandfather clock. So she had called me and said, you know, when we sell Jake, I'm going to go ahead and buy a grandfather clock. And I'm like, that's a great idea. I mean, let's, let's just cover this for a second. I never paid a dime to help take care of Jake. Like he was, he was my horse, but he was also like, he was a workhorse kind of, that's a lie. He was not a workhorse. He was a pasture horse until hunting season came. And then he was a packer. Like I, I I can't say enough of good things about that horse. Like I lived my entire childhood on his back. Like absolutely loved him. Anyway, so my grandma says we're going to buy the clock and, or we're going to buy a grandfather clock. We'll call him Jake. And then after grandpa and I pass, you can have the clock. And I'm like, 
oh, okay. Um, I don't, I don't know that I want a clock that is going to remind me, you know, morbidly. So I'm like, okay, well then the day came and I was like, oh, I, what, oh my gosh, like here it is. Here's the day. So that was one of the first questions was, Hey, what do you want to do with Jake? <laughs> so that is what this post is all about. It's all about the clock named Jake. <laughs> so my grandma, I, I know she's having an amazing time right now. I know she is. She is hooping and hollering and chatting and dancing and doing all the things that she loves. So going down and visiting everybody and just talking and remembering and laughing and just swapping stories and memories was so much fun. Uh, so this is my grandma, uh, Sue Calvert Town. I didn't realize my grandma didn't have a middle name. And it, I don't know if it's a generational thing, but she took the name of her dad, her maiden name, and just made it her middle name. I didn't know that was, I didn't know that until she passed. So I put a piece of vellum over this just to kind of soften her picture. Not because I don't like it. I love this picture. Told you, hats. Anyway, I just thought it looked more elegant, so I put that over it. And then I started writing out her obituary, and I got to the part where she loves to dance. And um, I remember when they lived, uh, well, doesn't matter where they lived, you guys won't probably ever go there. Sometimes I get a bit detailed in my stories. Um, she used to have in the basement her square dance skirts, slips, like the slips that were really like poofy. So I would make my brother wear one and I would wear one and we would traipse around the house dancing and hooping and hollering and being butterflies and the whole nine yards. And so I called my mom last night and I said, do you still have a picture of uh, that? And she's like, I bet I, I know exactly what album. And I said, really? And she's like, yes, I will send you a picture. So as soon as I get the picture, I am going to drop it into this spread uh, at the very bottom and just kind of another, another one of those memories that includes my grandma. I love it. Also, before I started filming, Stark thought he wanted to go outside. Oh, he's been a Klingon since we got back. Stage five Klingon. I think he missed us. Pepper, she's a little more independent. She's like, glad you're back. Can you check the food bowl? Hold on. Let me let him in. Hey, wet toes. Come on. Do you want me to leave the door open? I can do that. I know. Let me scoot the chair over for you. There you go. Brah! What are you talking about? Come here. Wow, you are chatty this morning. Okay. So once I get that, I will put that down below here. And then that will complete probably this little spread here. Um, and then that was April 24th. So 4, 24, 24. I did this one, I think, on the 25th. And then, yeah, so this was April 26th. Oh, see, I knew you were going to do that with your wet feet, you weirdo. You're such a crazy cat right now. All right, I'm going to hold him on my lap and talk about this spread. So we went and picked up my nephew from uh, after school and his mom and we decided to go get snacks. So we went and got some chicken nuggets. I know, I know. I got them too. <laughs> they're, they're like my favorite horrible food. Um, so we went and did that and then we went to the Museum of Idaho. I had never been. So we had a great afternoon of exploring all of the exhibits and doing all the things. And it was just, it was a good, it was a good event to just kind of be with family and, you know, talk about, talk about good things, like things that we've done, things that we remember. It was just a really nice afternoon. And then when we got done, we went to my mom's house and we had like a, like a family get together. I wouldn't say it was like a sit down dinner or anything. It wasn't anything fancy. My grandma didn't want to service or anything. So we all just got together and laughed and, you know, cried and talked about her and all of our memories and how my grandpa better be ready. Cause she's, you know, she's coming. 
Um, yeah, it's, it's incredible. It's incredible to hear the memories that everybody has of someone that you've known your entire life and you didn't know, like you didn't know things. It, it always blows my mind. And I'm always so thankful for everyone who's involved in my life that they're so willing to share those memories and just love, love the people that, that I love. So that layout I think is completely done. I did use a new white pen. It's the ink joy that are made for dark paper. I will also be using those later on this week on my channel as well. So stay tuned for that. This was Saturday and it was an incredibly long drive. We were on the road for 13 hours and even though it was a really nice visit for with our family, it was a very, very long drive back. We were both pretty well emotionally and physically exhausted. So we just got home and unpacked. We pretty much showered and went to bed because the next morning Wes had to get up and head out for Canada. So it was a very, I don't think I'm going to add anything to this one. I like this. I don't think it needs any washi tape. I like how this looks. Again, I used another piece of that vellum washi tape or not washi tape. I'm sorry. Sticky note. And then I just used my Tombow marker. I was going to draw a road and then I thought, no, cause I want to write in it. Like I want to have an opportunity to write in it. So that was Saturday and then boom, this was yesterday. I am fueled by happy thoughts and coffee. Uh, Wes got up, headed to Canada, and I started watching Baby Reindeer while I caught up on my journaling. It's, it's funny how quickly life can return to a somewhat normal feel. I still had moments yesterday where I would chuckle and think about something that my grandma said or some, you know, funny, funny, funny story that she told. So I imagine that'll happen for a while where I will just have these moments pop into my head and they're happy. They're happy moments for, for a second. I get maybe more than a second. I get that feeling of loss, that feeling of, oh, I won't be able to mail her a letter again. You know what I mean? So that part of it, I think will be a little more, I don't know, difficult long lasting maybe is the better word. Uh, she was my last surviving grandparent. And at 48, I feel like I'm very fortunate to have had my grandparents live that long. I mean, my grandfather was 89 when he passed away and my grandma was 88. So I feel like that is an ama amazing longevity. And I'm just really, really glad that I had them as long as I did. Because I hear stories from people that they never met their grandparents. They never knew their grandparents. And I, I don't know my life until now without them. So before I get all choked up, I am going to let you guys go. I hope you have the very best week. Stay tuned to the channel. Sorry. <laughs> Stay tuned to the channel. There will be more videos. I love you. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.